my goodness. Hi and welcome to my channel. Hey, this is Juanita. Today I'm going to be cleaning this really, really messy bottom counter here. I'm also going to try to do underneath my sink over here. Uh, we'll see how far I get, but this is ridiculously messy. Uh, there's so many different cleaners that we kept when we had a housekeeper but since the COVID we're cleaning our own home and this is in desperate need of cleaning and organizing so um i have i bought this organizer and i'm hoping to utilize it this is just the called perfect bath and I think I picked it up at uh, Ross's for like five bucks. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. But yes, we have a ton of uh, cleaners and oils that I do make my own uh, oils with. Uh, but and I just have a lot of crap down here. I mean, dental floss, really? Windex, like, when do I ever clean my windows? Well, I do, once in a while. Um, yeah. Oh, that sun is really in the way. So I thought I'd change my clothes because um, I was going to get my good clothes really dirty. So I thought I'd better kind of change out a little bit. But uh, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. Um, oh, good. That sun kind of went away. Uh, I've got the south window here next to me and uh, it shines really bright. And this is why my orchid does so well, because it sits on the south window. It gets that warmth from the window. Um, I can see that I'm getting another branch of blooms coming in. That is so exciting. Uh, this is going to be like the second time in less than a year that this has bloomed for me. So, yeah, keep your orchids in the south window. And when you water them, Give them a nice, warm watering. There, that's all nice and clean. So now it's just a matter of putting things back together. And giving things away like rollers I think I purchased these and I never used them and uh, it really doesn't make sense to even keep them so it's gonna be on the to go away pile and now I have my new tape for cutting hair and styling. This is a uh, stain resistant. There. Now, as far as anything else goes, I really don't need, I don't believe anything else that really needs to be in here. So what I think what I'm gonna do, because this was just so filled with cleaners that I never use. Well, I should say I never use them. I do use them, but I, I really don't need them up here. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is just put some towels so that we have them in here rather than having to go all the way into the storage uh, and bring them in here. So that's what I'm gonna do and uh, take a lot of these out. So basically, this is it. So I'm gonna open this up. Oh, it's not very big. picture makes it look like there's a lot of room for towels and stuff, but it's not very big at all. So just a little tip. Um, whenever you come across little baggies like this, these are really great for um, putting your shoes in when you're traveling. Um, that's what I use these for. So I try to collect, not a ton, but some just that are in good shape, just so that when I travel, I can throw my shoes in. And then the rest of my clothes and my luggage doesn't get dirty. That does have, oh, wrong way. So this has like, I don't think I'm crazy about it, but, um, oh, I see. That's not going to work because it's too high. So I think what I'll do is I'll put it in another in underneath here. And I could raise this, I suppose. No, it's still going to be too high. Okay, well, I tried. So all this stuff can go downstairs and I will just throw it in here. I don't need this in here. So I'm gonna get rid of these, see what else I can clean out underneath here, and uh, then I will show you the end results. Okay. That was, that was much easier than I expected. This isn't the greatest before picture, but 
you can at least see what it looked like before. And so this is what it looks like now. My bathroom is really small, but I'm going to sit in here so I can kind of go over some of the things with you. But I am really, really happy with the end results. It looks so much better. I'm sure you would agree with me. I don't know how it got to the point where it was because I had so many cleaners. I even had a hammer in here. I have no idea why the hammer was here, but it was in here. And uh, now it's organized. It's clean. I have my bath towels, my hand towels, and my tissue paper is always in here anyway. I always unwrap it because it's right next to the toilet. And so it's just really easy access. Um, you don't have to fiddle with unwrapping something when you really need it. Now I left some cleaners in here that were essential to the bathroom and uh, you know, my garbage bags that I need in here. But overall it's just basically the bare essentials that I need and that I use on a regular basis. Uh, I mentioned that I do oils, so I have all my oils in here. Now, if you want to see a video on that, I can create a video on that, but I basically mix oils for my face. I use it at night and in the morning every day. Um, and I love it. Uh, it just makes my skin feel really great. Plus, I don't wear makeup, so it just makes it feel clean. The other thing, talking about clean, if you're looking for a really good face soap, now I'm not getting paid to say this, but this Desert Essence Face Wash, oh my gosh, it is the best face wash. It leaves your face feeling clean, and supposedly if you're prone to breakouts, it's supposed to help with that. My husband introduced me to that soap when I first met him, and I have not bought anything other than that. So I put all that information down in the description area for you. But yeah, I just have what I need in here now. It looks so much better. If you have a lot of excess stuff, give it away. Somebody can always use it. There's so many homeless people out there that could really probably use these products and not be offended by it. So anyway, that's what I did with some of the stuff and I am just really, really happy with the end results. I don't even know how it got like this, but it's got to get clean and organized. So I'm going to get started. Uh, sit back and enjoy. I would say that half of these things I probably don't ever use. So, a lot of this will be going in the garbage.
So now that I've got it all cleaned out, it's just a matter of putting it all back together. So here's what under my sink looked like before. And this is what my cabinet underneath my sink looks like. Oh my gosh. It was a disaster. <laughs> it was just as bad as the other one. It was so embarrassing. But I am so glad that I got to it and that you guys were able to see it as well. Uh, I don't know how it got like that. Just like I don't know how the other one got like that. But now it's well organized and clean. I can see everything. And uh, it just it just looks so much nicer. Now that double shelving that I was going to put on the other cabinet, that actually worked out really well to put in here because now we don't have to shuffle around to try to find something. We just pull that door out and it's right there and handy. Now, the other thing that I'd like to point out that if you are in a budget and you have some really nice containers for plants, use them for storage. I bought this blue one that houses all my brushes and curling irons uh, many years ago at a plant shop and I just liked it because it looked like a tulip and so it came in handy for that because not only can you put that underneath the cabinet but you can put it actually on top of a counter if you have the room for it. I bought this little white one up here at Ikea for like three dollars and that now houses all of my special face washes in there. Now, I have my bathing pillow, which is rare for me to take a bath, but um, I have it there if I need it. Now, the wicker basket down here, I actually have had that for many years, and I've always used it underneath my sink to house, like, my razors and things that you really don't want to put out. Um... And it makes great storage if you don't have the additional shelving and, and drawers in your bathroom. So it's always worked well for me. Now the tote that you see on top of the wicker basket, that actually is my traveling tote. It houses all of my toiletries that I need for traveling, like shampoo, conditioner, shower cap, extra soap, face soap, lotions, you name it, it's got whatever I need to travel, it's in there. And so when I travel and I come home, I go through it, I restock everything, and then I put it back. So it is there, ready to go. All I have to do is throw it in my bag and I'm ready to go on my next trip. I don't have to stop to think about what it is that I need. It's already there. So that's something to consider as well. So anyway, I love the end results and I hope that you do too. So another way that I use containers for is like my bath soaps, my Q-tips, and my cotton swabs, even my jewelry. I put them in little containers. And it's just a really good way to decorate your bathroom if you have the counter spot for it. So that's going to do it for me. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button so you catch me on all my videos. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I could be in here. I could be outside. Never know what I'm up to next. But uh, Thank you for joining me. I hope I was able to give you some tips, especially for traveling. Don't forget to stock up that tote so you're ready to go on the next adventure. So that said, thank you for joining me. Love you. See you soon.